This is my seventh season with the New Mexico State volleyball team. So it's been quite a ride. <laughs> I'm definitely gone every other week from Wednesday to Sunday every other week for four months. So it's it's exhausting at times. Sometimes you just want to sleep in your own bed for more than a week at a time. But it's it's nice in the way that I can relax more than I can at home, but it's very challenging in the fact that you don't have your own stuff, you don't have your own supplies, you don't have your own equipment or anything like that, so you have to rely on other people, and other people's doctors if somebody gets sick on the road and all this kind of stuff, it's just a, it's a challenge for sure. I love the small sport atmosphere and that you do get to learn about everybody and get to know people and it's like a family because you really are like a little 20 person family because you're everywhere together and you can joke around together and you know you know you know all the little ins and outs of everybody I find that enjoyable I like it you're not relying on anybody else in this game it's all you know how well you do the rehab how well you take care of that acute injury that gets them back. Yes, there's doctors involved in the mix and all that kind of stuff, but you, the athletic trainer, day in and day out, are the ones that they deal with, the athletes deal with, with everything. So you see them get hurt, you see them get better, and then you see them come back and be happy again. It's, it's, it's priceless, really. In collegiate volleyball, well, in college in general, um, I enjoy good competition that's the first thing that I enjoy about it being around good competition fun sports to watch all the time it's, it's my job and so I can't complain about that at all as well as the athletes I think the athletes are fun a fun age to work with as well you know when you're working with a high school age there it's an awkward age you know in high school very dramatic and so college this is a little more fun you can joke around with them and you can be tougher on them you know than even an older crowd in a clinic for example so it's it's what I find best are the athletes the kind of athletes that college athletes are In recent years, I've done a lot, I've had more responsibilities on the road just because probably the coaches feel more comfortable leaving me in charge of things, but um, I'm a van driver. I'm one of four van drivers on Collins or I'm the, the leading van. I'm the one that leads us to all these new places everywhere we go. Um, I sometimes make the dinner reservations, you know, while they're in practice and athletic trainer of course sometimes have to go on late night um, drugstore runs you know with the girls and whatnot so. um, it's definitely expanded on the road at least to more than just athletic training stuff so but in terms of at home I mean, I've got some, you know, inventory responsibilities and some um, just office responsibilities that, you know, make the athletic training room run smoothly. Um, but obviously, this time of year, especially, my major role is taking care of the volleyball team as well as the women's equestrian team. Hank is in. Oh. Hank here, Hank the Tank is what we call him. I got him probably two, maybe three years ago. Um, I used to have a old over-the-shoulder kit that we named Bertha because she was heavy. So Hank came with wheels. Um, he's a big bad 46 pounds when he's all loaded up, so he's close to making me pay extra when we travel. Um, but he is it's a love-hate relationship as I said earlier um, love it because it holds everything you could possibly need but hate it because he's 46 pounds and he's attached to my hip everywhere we go on the road well she's just a big bowl of sunshine <laughs> uh, <laughs> real, though. I'm a bowl of sunshine she she's a bowl of sunshine um, which comes in handy a lot. Like that.
spot. So she's kind of the positive, happy person that makes you smile all the time. She seems to always be there for everyone and kind of like if somebody needs anything, it's, you can always go to Kim, and whether if it's medical or not, she can still talk to you and help you out and like see if there's something that she can do as well. Like we come to her for everything. <laughs> um, like, and then if we see you in the Fulton, we go to hang out there, and that's where usually rehab happens. So you get to have fun and make jokes and do your rehab to make it a little bit more entertaining. It's definitely the first couple times your rehab's like awful. And you don't want to do it, and you know it makes it better. And like she's always there and like, all right, do you want to play again? Like, do you want to be on the court? So she motivates you in a way.